Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about the post positivist theory. Before going into the post positivist theory, let's talk about the natural world and the social world. Now, things in the natural world are constant. For example, water. Two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen gives you H2O. Na plus Cl will give you NaCl which is salt. But when it comes to the social world, we human beings are ever changing. We keep on changing. So we are not constant beings. We are not like the elements in the physical or the natural world. So how do you measure human behavior which is always changing? So post positivism theory is based on the positivism theory which uh, the scientist in the physical sciences or the natural sciences or pure sciences employ. Now what is positivism? Positivism is basically the idea that knowledge could be gained through empirical, observable and measurable phenomena examined through the scientific method. Now, as I told you before, scientific method is objective. It is based on ob observation where you are observing a phenomena and measuring it. The social scientists who believe in the principle of post positivism also believe in the principle of empiricism which says that any assertion can be proved or disproved by observation. They also recognize that uh, human or human behaviors are not like the elements of the physical world. We are not constant like the elements of the physical sciences. So they have added the word post to positivism which is post positivism where you recognize the fact that humans are not constant. The goals of the post positivist theory are basically to explain, predict and control human behavior. For example, let's take political advertisements. The researcher who are studying political advertisements may study messages which will have the maximum effect on the uh, targeted audience and it would influence their voting behavior. So he or she might study which messages will be more effective on the targeted audience so, so that they could predict and control the behaviors of the voters. And apart from that, let's talk about the ontology of uh, post positivist theory. The ontology basically means the nature of reality. So post positivist theory believes that the social world exists independently of our perceptions on it. So, and apart from that, it believes that human behavior is sufficiently predictable to be studied. And it also recognizes the fact that human behavior is not constant has the elements in the physical sciences. Hence, post has been added to positivism to make it post positivism. Now let's talk about its epistemology. Basically how knowledge is created and advanced is epistemology. Now post positivist theory argue that knowledge could be created only by systematic logical search for regularities and causal relationships by employing the scientific method. So what are you trying? Basically you are trying to see check whether there is some regular patterns in the variables which you are studying or whether there is a causal relationship between the variables which you are studying. Apart from that, uh, they believe that advances in knowledge come only when there is intersubjective agreement among the scientists studying a given phenomena. So basically there should be agreement among uh, the entire scientific community on your phenomena or on your results which you have generated through your research project. Post positivists find confidence in the community of researchers not on a individual researcher. So your facts or your social facts have to be similar when other researchers in the field are doing the same kind of study with the same hypothesis and the same methodology which you have followed. So social scientists who employ post positivist theory find confidence in the group or the community of social scientists who are studying the same phenomena which you have studied. Now let's talk about its axiology. Now what axiology means is basically the role of values in knowledge and theory building. So what is the axiology of uh, post positivist theory? The main value is objectivity which the 
scientific method provides so what does objectivity mean i have spoken in the last video also basically in object but through objectivity you are trying to keep away or eliminate the researchers opinions views or emotions while creating knowledge or while doing your research work in the end i would like to say that post positivist theory uses the methods and techniques of science it uses scientific method for knowledge creation and theory building and for research also it follows the scientific method so this is what you have to keep in mind where post positivist theory tries to be as close as possible to what we traditionally call as science so guys this is post positivist theory do hit the like share and subscribe button because your subscription will motivate me to produce more educational content so guys thank you for watching